AITA for not letting my brother and Sil see my daughter after they threw away her medicine. I have a four-year-old daughter. Emma. I am an alcoholic and I've been sober for two years. My brother was Emma's court-appointed guardian from when she was 15 months old to just before her third birthday. I had to fight for almost a year to get her back. My brother and Sil are still upset that I took Emma from them, and have called CPS on me numerous times and make it clear that they don't trust me to take care of my own kid. They love Emma and Emma loves them so I try to take her to see them a couple times a month. A couple weeks ago, Emma caught the stomach flu from someone at her preschool. I'm in school full time and had a midterm that day so I asked my brother to watch her for a couple hours so I could take my test. They said they were happy to take her so I brought her to their house that morning with her medicines. A schedule saying when she's supposed to take which medicine and the dosage. A bottle of Pedialyte. And a few changes of clothes. I came to pick her up after the midterm and half her medicines. Her clothes. And her Pedialyte were gone. When I asked about it, they said they threw away all of her medicines and the Pedialyte because they were liquids and they were already opened so I could have put something in there to make her sick, sleep. Not that it helps much but I never hurt my daughter or gave her anything that wasn't recommended by her pediatrician. They also said I shouldn't be giving her Tylenol and Motrin. Again, her doctor said it's fine. So they didn't buy her any Motrin. Then I asked about the nausea medicine. Prescription. And they said they didn't think she needs prescription meds for the stomach flu. They also felt her clothes weren't good enough for her so they gave it to their neighbor for their garage sale and bought her new clothes. Meaning they most likely took her shopping when she was sick and should have been resting. I left with Emma and haven't spoken to them since except to tell them they will not be allowed anywhere near my kid unsupervised. I'm working on Thanksgiving so I was going to drop Emma off with my parents so she could see my family but I still don't want her to be around them without me so I'm leaving her with her babysitter instead. Now my family is giving me a hard time for not letting my brother and Sil see Emma and are excusing what they did by saying they were just worried about her. AITA for not letting my daughter see my brother and Sil. Edit. I'm not going to do the postcards. It'll be a lot cheaper and easier to send an email saying we moved after we get settled in. NTA. My so works for CPS and I just read this to him. He said you should absolutely report this to your social worker. They put your daughter in danger by throwing away her meds and it needs to be documented since they keep calling CPS on you. Congratulations on your sobriety. NTA. You need to stand your ground here. They are constantly putting you in danger of losing your child by calling CPS on you. They threw away prescribed medication. They are acting as if Emma is their daughter and undermining your decisions as a parent. They need to be cut out of your and Emma's life immediately. NTA. Your brother and Sil are sabotaging your recovery and relationship with your child. I wouldn't be surprised to see them talk negatively about you and your history as she gets older. You may need some distance to feel safer and have the mental capacity to deal with them. Op please return to the pediatrician for a new script for the nausea meds and ask them to note in the file that brother and Sil tossed the meds. This needs documentation now. NTA. They aren't worried about Emma. They are trying to sabotage your parenting efforts so they can regain custody of your daughter. It was lovely that they gave her a safe place to be when it was needed. But you've earned your daughter and deserve to be her mother without these people treating you this way. NTA. You regained custody. 
They threw away opened bottles of medication because they were afraid even though you could give the child anything at any point? I am sure you appreciated them getting temporary custody when it was needed but she is back in your custody now. NTA. The medications were prescribed by a doctor. They do not have medical knowledge sufficient to overrule a licensed professional and should not have thrown it away. A fever can be very dangerous to a child if not brought down. And dehydration is an issue in children with the flu who might not be aware enough to know they need a drink. Their actions were not in your daughter's best interests and seemed more about being anti you than pro her. They endangered her to prove you wrong. And I don't blame you for keeping her away from them. NTAI try to take her to see them a couple times a month. Hashtag STOP. NTA. Your brother and Syl weren't worried about Emma they still think that they are Emma's guardians and they feel that she needs protection from you and that they know your child so much better. They need a reality check. And they get a time out. But you need to prepare for continued CPS visits. And they will send minions in the form of family members saying that they were only concerned and worried and only want the best for Emma. Send the message back that they blew it. And you aren't comfortable having Emma around them anymore. NTA. 1. If they cannot respect you as a parent, they get limited contacted with you and your daughter. Point 2. What exactly was their plan to deal with that stomach flu? They seemingly threw out all the medicine? I am confused. 3. Anybody excusing their behavior needs to hear this. You are first and foremost worried about your daughter and yourself. If brother and Syl want to pose stress factors instead of support systems, they get the appropriate feedback. 4. Start documenting your parenting. Take daily pictures of you and your kid on your phone. Document expenses. Save receipts. And copies in a different safe space. Get your pediatrician to give you a note that the medicine had been perfectly fine. Don't trust them not to try and take your daughter away again. Point 5. Make the attending therapy a stipulation for more access to your daughter. Sounds like they have not learned to accept the new reality. Obviously. Also demand a real apology. Point 6. Donate the clothes they gave you. Once you can afford to replace them. NTA and not even close. I wish you every success in your life and in your role as a mother. NTA. Stop using family for childcare because you are giving them access to your child and opportunities to undermine you as a parent. Essentially, they told your child that you aren't safe, that you would actively abuse your child by drugging her, and that the clothing you buy in inferior parental alienation is no joke. NTA. I understand that they were her guardians for a while and it might be difficult for them to accept that you are the parent and your decisions are now the ones that matter. That being said, what they did was completely inappropriate and uncalled for. I agree that they will continue to disrespect your decisions and should not be left alone with your child. Their actions created these consequences so they can deal with them edited to add please make sure you tell the babysitter that in no way shape or form should emma be allowed to go see them on thanksgiving don't even open the door for them if they stop by to see her or something like that nta but tell your caseworker what happened in case they try and spin this to make you look bad also don't tell them about the move just ghost them and only tell your parents after you settle in. NTA. Your brother ignored medical advice and acted against your instructions. Ignore them. NTA. Congratulations on your sobriety. They're the ones acting untrustworthy. Not you.
If they were actually worried about her, they'd give her medicine and rest. NTA at all. They seriously overstepped by throwing away her medicine. NTA you know how when parents divorce and one side has a lot of money and the other doesn't and over time the kids only want to spend time with the rich family that gives them everything they want. This is going to happen to you if you don't go and see. Your sister is trying to steal your daughter from you. Better be careful. NTA. Sounds like they are resentful that you regained custody and are doing whatever passive-aggressive stuff they can to let you know how they really feel. NTA. Nope. You're the parent and they disregarded yours and her doctor's instructions. So that's a privilege they've lost. And shame on your parents for excusing it. Inexcusable. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.